And I've no doubt that officialdom will be wondering how it can all be turned to the advantage of certain people. That's how the world tends to work. And there we go. What did you think about them giving uh, Lord Nelson a bad name? Sadly, if alcohol was banned, there would be a civil uprising. Kareem, why, if you've educated the people? If you said, look, this is for your own good, right? So you don't need to do anything. You just need to be alcohol-free. Because <clears throat> think about it. If governments were doing something dodgy, surely they would rather that the population were completely plastered out of their face and then they could get up to all sorts, right? But if you've got a sharp, sober, highly intelligent, very well-educated public who are not angry or bitter or twisted or any of that stuff, then you've got some very, very powerful people, you know? And uh, that's what we should be looking at, you know. There we are. What about that, Karim? Are you up for that one? Did you like that? Do you see what I just did there? So it's surely in the interest of the people to be sober and upright and hardworking and ready for life. Yes. What do we think? Response screen, please. Thank you very much. Now then. Let's bring back the single mother. I think we've got enough of the single mother, numpty hit. I think let's bring back the family unit might be a better way to go. More Paul and the Wains. There we are, the Bruins. <laughs> the classic Scottish family with Grandpa. There we are. Did you notice, I don't think was Grandma Brun around, or was it just Ma? Do tell. Uh, believe, says Eddie Doyle. Absolutely. Scotty, some people believe alcoholism is a disease. It's not a disease. It's a choice. It can lead to disease, though, to be honest with you, Eddie, can't it? I mean, that's the whole thing, you know. So what I was going to say about the liver, the liver is uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff, but liver disease, particularly cirrhosis, presents late. So quite often the damage is done when, uh, when the liver's done. Scotty, my friends were creating accounts with my name. It wasn't me. Okay, Josh, no problem at all. I apologize. You're fine, Josh. You're back in business. As long as there's no spamming, no problem. Excellent stuff. So there we are. Uh, very pleased with the Scotland result. 1-0 against Slovakia at Hamden. Were you not shouting for Slovakia? Uh, Tony, was anybody shouting for Slovakia? Grandpa Brun used to have a bit in the side. Now. No, he did not, Professor Numpty. He'd stop making up nonsense. He did not. They were a very, very fine family. So there we are. So just stop. I don't know, Numpteed. Scotty, you're looking sharp tonight. I thank you, yes. Well turned out. It's a mark of respect for who I'm going to see. And I've come to see you. So there we are. So I thought I better tidy myself up. Fantastic. <laughs> thank you, Eddie Doyle. We appreciate that. Yes. The way you dress is as a mark of respect for who you're going to see. Although we have let the old dress code slip a bit. I look at our politicians at the moment, and I would ask you to cast your mind back to people like um, Anthony Eden. Have a wee look in your search engine for Anthony Eden, the Right Honourable Anthony Eden. And just look at how well turned out Anthony is. A remarkable man. Sadly, in later life, not a terribly well man. But please do have a look at how well turned out Anthony Eden is. You know, check the suits, the shoes, the moustache, 
the ties, the shots. Fantastic. Uh, 